Alright, hey guys, what's up? Onyx here. Today I'm going to show some gameplay of Cube World. If you don't know what Cube World is, it's this voxel pixelated game that's based off of Minecraft, um, I don't know, some other games that I've never probably played in my life. But you can look it up on the website. I'll have the link in this day in the description below. But today I'm on this episode, I'm just gonna show the um customization part. And I've already played it um the game just to get a feel of how it is. So basically, just like any other game that you ever play an MMO type game, you have to pick the race, the gender, the class, and actually in this game, the race doesn't matter. The skills that you build up to later are, um, that's, it's the part that matters. So first you got the human, it's just normal, everyday looking human. You can pick male or female, I mean, Nisha, yeah, female, male, female. Um, you have the elf, has nothing really special, just the ear part is changed, male, female. You got the dwarf, it's missing his tooth, it got a big nose, big ears. Just like, um, what what's that, um, movie? Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, uh, and that's how the women look, if you've never seen a woman female dwarf before. I haven't. Okay, orcs look pretty dumb, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Their mouths all jutted out at the bottom, like some type of, I don't know, and this looks like a demon. And then, my favorite is actually the skeleton, but it's not here yet. The goblins look just like the orcs, just a little bit more creepier. The, the females look better than the guys, I'm not gonna lie. Here's a wizard man, here's another one of my favorites. It, I just call it a mini Godzilla. I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty Godzilla-ish. Especially the guy part. And he, they have like these ear holes and stuff, it's pretty creepy. Um, the undead. This is my true favorite. They just... I don't know, I just love them so much. And then the guys get mohawks and... It's just... I like it. Fuck it. Let me see if I can find it. See these little mini mohawks? Pretty stylish, I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay. And frogmen. I don't know, they remind me of Hypnotoad. But the females, they creep me out, kind of. And um, that's it. So for this gameplay, I'm going to pick... Um, Lizardman. Uh, no. Um, I don't know what class, really. Um, the warriors get these big clubs. They can dual wield at later stages too, I think. Rangers, you know, like the average bowman. You gotta fight from a ranger to get hit. Like, if you get to close combat, you're kind of um, screwed. Mage, same as the bowman. If you get close to a monster, you better hope you can just back up. Rogues, I don't have, I have no idea about the rogues. I think they also dual wield. Or I think they're the only ones who can do wolves. I'm not really sure. Don't quote me on this. Um, I think I'm gonna pick a warrior because I never do in any game. Haircuts. Their haircuts are kind of weird. They don't have hair. Uh, I'll pick this one. Looks pretty, pretty cute. <laughs> Cause it's all that matters to me. Uh. You can pick from a couple different faces. I'll pick this one. And you can change the hair color, which is something that you don't really see. Well, I mean, you do see in MMOs, but you don't see it like this. You get a certain um, certain type. You don't have the whole entire color options here. So I'm going to pick something like this. And then you can name the, the character at the bottom. So I'm gonna name just something stupid like uh um Biggie Smalls. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll just name it Biggie Smalls, even though it's a girl. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'll just do that. Oh, and then you can pick what type of um world you want to be in. I already made a world called Pika. We can make a new world. Um, then you have to put a seed. I'll do something like, it has to be numbers, I was going to put like Leet Haxor, but that didn't work. So I'm just going to put something like 69, 69, 69. Yeah, that, that'll work. And the name of the world will be, um, hmm. 
it'll be Goom Goomba. Yeah, cause that's pretty cool to me. So yeah, um, that was basically the character customization stage. Basically, from what I've played right now, I'm gonna play some more of it later on. I just wanted to do something now because I'm leaving tomorrow to go somewhere else. I wanted to show you just the character part of the um the character making process of the game. So you can try it out for yourself if you want to or not. This thing's this game's still an alpha. I got it, um I got a little demo of it. I'm not gonna tell you exactly how I got it, but you can probably guess since it's kinda weird. But um yeah. That's all for today. I hope you guys have a good day and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Bye!